<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today we have something iconic. It's the Desert Eagle. Hey Freunde, ich habe ein Video in Deutsch gemacht. Schaut mal rein. As always, all the guns are unloaded and safe. So the Desert Eagle 50 AE. Its origin is from the US on this specific type. Overall, only Magnum Research produces them in the meantime. Um, in the beginning, they were um, produced in Israel from IMI or IMI. This thing is absolutely huge. It's crazy. Right now we hold the 50 AE in our hands. There's four different cartridges for that. The 357 Magnum, the 44 Magnum, 50 AE, and there's something between the 44 and the 50 AE. It's the 429 DE, which I've never heard of, I must be honest. So let's go over the data and look what's so special in this gun. Huge shout out to Vienna Arsenal and to Bravo Zero Six and Tech Merch, where you can get tactical merchandise for women and men. So about the length, there's two different sizes. First size is 10.75 inches. The second one is 14.75 inches. The overall weight is 4.4 pounds. Magazines chambered in 357 hold nine rounds. Magazines chambered in 44 Magnum hold eight rounds and the 50 AE hold seven rounds. Barrel length about six inches and you can get this for about $1,900 or $3,900 or something in between. That's where all the models are priced. This specific gun is something special because it's gas operated. And not even that, you can see in the back, this is what you have in your AR. That's a rotating bolt which is super crazy because all that fits inside this gun. There's no ambidextrous um, mag releases or slide release. Um, that's what makes it a little bit different. But overall, on the top you have a huge Picatinny rail and over here you have these gaps to let out all the gas that's too much so you can stabilize it. But I think it's super heavy enough to hold up with this cartridge. Also, the trigger is super soft, which is irritating. I'm sorry, but it's it's so crazy. Okay, let's go outside and see what this thing is capable of. The Desert Eagle is surprisingly easy to shoot and a lot more comfortable than I thought. But indoor, because of the extreme pressure, it's not so cool to shoot it and also the ammunition is hard to get. Otherwise, it's an absolute pleasure. Yeah. 